um, and the question is, um, you know, what, what is holding us back? What is holding you back? Um, so let's get into that. So what is holding you back? Um, you know, change is a natural thing. We don't think it sometimes, um, but it is where it's naturally occurring even within the body on a daily basis. So change around us is happening constantly. You just have to look at the seasons and um, your children growing, you know, people aging. It's perfectly natural to um, to change um, and it's perfectly natural to also question questions, question ourselves um, around, you know, what's going on in my life? Um, yeah, you know, why am I feeling stagnant? Um, there can be an urge then to implement some change because, you know, you're entering into that. Um, I've talked about stages of change before. So you're entering into that need to change stage. So have a look at that, those stages if you're unsure about maybe where you are in those stages. Um, but then we kind of go, no, I can't change and, and something holds you back. And no matter how much we feel the urge to change, nothing seems to happen. We, we just remain or feel we remain stagnant or still um and but you know that isn't really the the case but you know what's going on here what is holding us back that's the question we have to ask ourselves and and, and there can be many reasons for this um you know there, there can be a range from you know not knowing well what do i want or what do i want to do next or how do i go about it to our fears our own fears and all of these can prevent us um from making the changes that we want to make that we have the urge to, to change so the first one the first of three points i said i would give you would be we have a fa uh, you know a fear of failure or success so you can fear success just as much as you fear failure um so you know you, you can add in here also maybe there's a fear around a past something happened in the past um you know you might feel oh the past will catch up with us or it'll repeat again fear of the future it's the unknown so we have a fear of the unknown basically there it's the same with success it's the fear of the unknown and um, the fear of what if i fail again so you know that fear is actually holding us back that's what's holding us back it's our own fears um it can hold us back in our work it can hold us back in our personal lives an awful lot of the time it can be because we're we're setting very high standards for ourselves um you know so it could be tied into perfectionism uh, or imposter syndrome could be there um with these types of fears it could be you know we're afraid that we'll be found out in some way um, we could be ashamed that you know our poor performance might be highlighted um Maybe we feel we'll get a bad review work or, you know, from somebody else or we'd be seen, you know, a bad friend or a bad neighbor or maybe we'd be seen as a bad parent in some way. In other words, we're telling ourselves and reinforcing to ourselves that we're not good enough in some way and we're going to be found out. Um, so this sense of fear is driving that fear around maybe fear of taking the next step or fear of failing fear of success or as i said fear of the unknown there um and then you know we can we can actually you know have that fear that if the change itself if we do make some changes and um, that can bring us some unwanted attention um we can also fear that you know we're going to lose we're going to lose what we already have and we want to hold on to that. We're afraid we're going to lose it. Um, but when we start to view things differently, um, then we can change them. We can challenge them. We can challenge these fears that we have. We can start to see, you know, that, OK, we have, maybe we have the possibility of failure, but we also have the possibility of succeeding. The possibility that we will evolve, we will grow, we will learn. Um, you know, if we can, if we can stop, and actually reflect back on what we've already changed, we're going to be able to see that we're quite capable of changing. We're quite capable of overcoming things. Um, we may have failed in the past, but you know what? We succeeded too. There are successes there too. We we can then let go of these fears, and we can see that yep. I can face my challenges and you know what I also built some resilience along the way because that's when we build our resilience 
And that's important. If we can do that reflection, that and for reflecting back is important for us in order to overcome this particular type of fear. Um, there are a number of techniques you can also use apart from doing reflection. You can do visualizing um, a successful outcome. A couple of minutes, you know what you want to achieve. Visualize how it's going to be successful. You can also help yourself by setting realistic goals. So remember, I always talk about them, baby steps, baby, baby steps. Taking small, actionable steps towards those realistic goals is vital. And don't forget to celebrate each time you take that step, that baby actionable step. You celebrate it, you reward yourself for all the small wins because that's reinforcing um, your success factor that's reinforcing yep i can do this i've got it i am good enough so we want to take that fear out we want to start celebrating ourselves and we don't we do it for other people but we forget to do it for ourselves number two something that can hold you back is um uh the um you know we're giving away our time to other people um so in order to change and move forward with our lives um we really need to stop and look at well, who am i giving my time away to who am i giving um space maybe in my head or in my physical life to to you know who who is who is there who, what people are there what things are there maybe they're not serving us anymore so again it's it's a bit of a review here of where we're giving our time and energy to but that's going to hold you back if you're just giving it away but it's not where you really want to focus your time and energy on because if you're not cluing in on where you're giving your time and energy to and you're giving it away to people really who don't deserve it or aren't serving you in some way or things or tasks if you're keeping your busy yourself busy for the sake of busy in order to distract yourself then that's going to hold you back again it's going to hold you back personally and it's going to hold you back professionally so you need to review your priorities on this one um if you're too stressed by what's already got ongoing you know in your life then you really need to do that take that time to do a bit of a review you know who and what and where are you making that commitment to are you spending your time your energy and your life you know we only get 24 hours in a day everybody's the same um so where are you giving all that away to um you know and make the necessary adjustments as you as you go if you need to um so questions and they're in the blog as always they're in the blog and the blog will be um, a link to the blog is in the description below questions you can ask yourself here to help you with this process of reviewing where you're prioritizing who are you pro prioritizing um you know your time and energy with um is you know what's already on my list so make a list take your time make a list a to-do list You'd be amazed at how much you forget to put on that to-do list that you do you just automatically do it or stuff takes a lot longer to do than you actually realize um why is it on your to-do list then once you've compiled that list then you've got to ask yourself why am i doing this why am i spending so much time and energy on this what's what's am i get what am i getting out of it another question then you have to ask us also ask about that those things is can I delete it? Is it is it not serving me anymore? Maybe I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it because I've always done it, but it's not serving me anymore. Can I delegate it? Can I give it away to somebody else who is quite capable of doing it? Um, and, you know, can I hand over that responsibility? Um, can you hand it back to the person that actually should be doing the task in the first place? That's another one. If it's not all on you, maybe it's something you, it's part of a job share, maybe it's in your personal life, um, you need help with caring for somebody it may not necessarily all be on you so or it may not be yours in the first place so can you ask for help and can you then hand it back to that person that is really responsible for it? I'm talking about adults here there are adults please respect them and hand them back the task um you know another one is like are you asking for help if you need it um you know what purpose is the task serving again it could be a means of keeping yourself distracted a form of disassociation 
Why are you doing it? Um, you know, what's keeping you so busy in the first place is another question. Are you avoiding something or someone? Are you avoiding yourself? Sometimes we are. We're avoiding our own what's going on up here. Um, you know, you might not even realize that you're actually doing that. You are avoiding. So who or what are you avoiding? Um, it, you know, this exercise can seem very simple when I'm calling it out to you and I'm giving you questions here to use. But that's on paper. Um, and I do recognize that it isn't such a simple thing to do to delegate or maybe hand back responsibility to people who are negative and they won't take responsibility. Um, there can be a fear element around that. Um, but, you know, we do have to stop and actually think about it. Why am I doing this? Um, and get those answers. It, we may not like the answer sometimes um you know particularly if it's something around what you're avoiding yourself or something that's on you maybe you haven't asked for help um maybe it is perfectionism codependency uh you know but, but really take a look at these questions because they can give you a big clue as to what's going on for you and why you're holding yourself back here um the next one number three and the last one in this one is um you know we simply what's holding us back is we simply don't know where to start maybe you don't even know what you want to do um you know what do i need to change what do i want to change do i want to change um but you know maybe you've even freed up some time by doing a review of your priorities before um but you don't know where to start um and sometimes in this case we can get cut so caught up in the outcome that it's actually we're failing to commit to just trying it, um, you know, and doing the step by step process of going for that outcome. We want the outcome to be perfect and have all the pieces in, pla in place. So we go down endless rabbit holes looking for endless uh, um, answers. So to make it perfect before we even start, that we're not actually doing the work itself. Um, so, you know, again, we have to stop here stop ourselves from doing this and and remove that need to be perfect um and just commit to showing up no matter what you know we we do have time and we give so much to other people so why not now to yourself and commit to yourself yes you will make mistakes yes there is the possibility you could fail but there's also the possibility that you can succeed and it doesn't have to be perfect. And more times than not, we actually have a better outcome than we could ever have imagined. It's a different direction maybe than we had planned, but it's to our benefit. It's the fact that we keep showing up for ourselves no matter what. This is what will stop, stop us from holding ourselves back. And that's what's important here. Um, so, you know, my religion, original question i posed at the start was what's holding you back and in this sense what i've been talking about is that you're holding yourself back and we can do that we can give out about other people holding us back but in the in in you know in some circumstances it's actually ourselves if we actually stop and reflect and look at what we're doing then we can change the question the, the question is no longer what's holding me back. The question is, am I willing to show up for myself? Even if I feel afraid. Even, you know, even if we feel the steps that we're taking is are not enough. Um, you know, even if we have reason to believe that we won't succeed. But are we willing to show up? To commit to that showing up? That's when we'll stop holding ourselves back. So that's it for today. Um, it's it's a question I thought you might be interested in, might be interested in having to think, even having to think about it. You don't have to do anything about it. But it's interesting just to, to think about it. Um, so I leave it there, as always. Thank you for listening. Um, thank you for those who watch here live and, and those who watch on replay here and on, on YouTube. Um, I will talk to you all again next Friday. And there is a new blog, as always, there's a blog coming out on Monday. I will see you then. Have a good weekend. Stay safe.